Hi folks, it's Robert O'Brien. Today I'm going to show you how to make your embedded video have a little bit more controls on your website. Um, I noticed that my videos at the end of the playing were showing uh, other people's web, other people's YouTube videos, which is a distraction and uh, may take people off your page and onto something curious about cats or something. Um, we don't want that to happen on our website. We want people we want our customers to look at our website and stay on our website. And hopefully the message that we gave them in the YouTube video will stick and they will take a, an action, preferably a purchase on your page. So let me, without further ado, show you how to do that. So I've got my pers uh, my store website up, goodlifetea.com. This is my YouTube homepage. And we're gonna go to my channel. My channel is where all my YouTube videos are located at the moment. And here we are going to pick a T, any T. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one of the lovely Aubrey uh, doing her thing in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what to do. Hi, I'm Aubrey. And I'm let me turn that off, even season. though she's lovely. Okay, so we have this page here. Um, you see the, all the controls. But to embed a video, we go to the share button here. Uh, click the share button, which gives you a choice on how you want to share your video on your website. This is the important part. Some people will put links, uh, but the best way is obviously to embed the video so that the video shows up on your website. And then there's the embed code right here. This is the code that you put in the HTML part of your web of your website, and it will show the video as it's shown right there. But there are more controls to this embedding of the video. And if you hit that uh, button there that I just did, um, you will see the controls. Let me go and do that a, one more time for you. So there's the video, there's the embed, click embed and show more. That will bring down these very important controls here. So you can control the size of your video as it appears on your website. Um, now there are four other controls here. So show suggested videos when the video finishes. You don't want that. You don't want suggested videos. You want that video to end and stop showing other people's videos. That's distracting for your customers and you don't want them to start watching other videos uh, that YouTube is suggesting. Okay, we also have show player controls, uh, show video title and player, and player actions. These are all things that will allow the uh, user the, your customer to have a little bit more control of the videos. You can also do this, click these if you want. Once you make your selections here, I would always click this top one. And once you make your selections, your embed code will, will change. And you want to go ahead and copy this embed code, do a control C and control C it, and then put it on your HTML page and, and bury it in your HTML on your product page or your website page or your blog page and this video will show up. All right, that's it folks. Good luck. I hope this video has helped you. If it did, give me a couple of likes and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks a lot. Come visit my shop, goodlifetea.com. Check out this video of Aubrey. She's a wonderful uh, spokesperson in uh, helping our store. Thanks a lot, Pete.